Hey Freedom, how's everybody doing today? Hope you guys are having a fantastic Wednesday. Uh, I'm doing great. Uh, hope you guys are too. If you get a chance to sit outside on your back porch, you know, take advantage of it. It's a beautiful day. A little bit of wind, but it's um, utterly gorgeous outside. I was outside this morning um, on my back porch drinking some coffee. And um, I want to get on here real quick and just share um, a thought, an idea that I had. Um, that I'm going to entitle, Let's Go on a Treasure Hunt. Um, again, Let's Go on a Treasure Hunt is the title. And it's really just found in our reading this morning that we've had um, in Isaiah. As you know, we're in the middle of the Read Scripture app. And um, the, um, the verse in chapter 45 of Isaiah, um, verse 19, really just jumped out at me this morning. And this is kind of where I got the whole let's go on a treasure hunt idea. And it'll tie in in just a second. Um, but Isaiah 45, verse 19 says, and this is the Lord speaking, I publicly proclaim bold promises. I do not whisper obscurities in some dark corner. I would not have told the people of Israel to seek me if I could not be found. I, the Lord, speak only what is true, and I declare only what is right. When I read that, it just jumped out and like literally slapped me across the face. Um, because then the Lord took me to Jeremiah 29, 13. We all know Jeremiah 29, 11, But verse 13 really just gets like the short end of the stick on this one. Because um, it just verse 11 just become very popular in our Christian dumb world. But... Um, 29.13, uh, Jeremiah 29.13 says, You will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. And that's where I got the whole treasure hunt thing from because it's about seeking and finding and playing hide and seek. And not necessarily that the Lord has played hide and seek with us, but I kind of get that image um, of, of a dad, you know, hiding behind a tree and the little child, you know, trying to seek out their father or... Even going to the parable of the widow who lost her two pennies and she tore up her entire house to be able to find those two pennies. And so when you think about it, there's so many treasures hidden in the word for us. And there's so many things that God wants to speak and reveal to us every single day. But um, my, my thought is, are we really diving in and digging deep? Um, are we really seeking what the Lord has for us? Uh, because he boldly put it here that he speaks bold prom he speaks bold promises, and he does not whisper in obscurities, but he has told us that we will seek and find him if we seek him with our whole heart. So, my challenge to us today as a freedom uh, family is that we would go on a treasure hunt for the things of God. Um, don't just read the read scripture app and mark it off as a checklist of something that you do, but really dive into it and really begin to um, seek out what God's got for you because God has got something for you every single day. But my question is, are we putting in the effort to be able to really um, dive in and dive deep? Um, at the margin of my Bible, when I wrote or when I read uh, Isaiah 45 verse 19, this was my little prayer that I put in the margin of my Bible. Lord, give me an ear to hear your deep words and mysteries, but give me a passion to seek you deeply. And um, that's not my prayer just for myself, but for us as a church, that we would have the ear to hear what the Lord is saying, but not only just be satisfied with what he's saying, but also just seek his face. And so my challenge today, church, let's go on a treasure hunt and let's see what God has got for us today. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Um, and you guys are staying comfortable in your quarantine time. Um, if you're getting out again, wear a mask, you know, wash your hands, stuff like that. But, uh, I cannot wait to see everybody again. Uh, we're in six weeks of this thing right now, and it's probably going to go on for a little bit longer. So, uh, hang on in there. We're doing well. Um, you know, stay connected to the church through social media, Instagram, Facebook, um, everything we've got going on right now, but I miss you guys deeply. I cannot wait to be back with you guys and, um, you know, look, looking forward to that day when we can all get back together. But I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday and, um, we'll see you guys again soon. Love you guys. Be blessed.